Today is the first day of February. Welcome to Life Audio Bible. It is Thursday and day 690 that we're together in the Word of God. And I'm excited. The sun is shining, blue skies, mild outside. It is uh, a gorgeous day in this part of the world, in Scandinavia, and Oslo, where I'm reading from. And I hope, friend, that you're having a good day, whether it's sunshine or rain, whatever you're going through, weather-wise, that you don't mind it, because what matters is how you are on the inside, right? So I'm excited. My niece, Olivia Daniel, she is about to give birth. If she hasn't already, I'm not sure, but we're expecting a new addition to the family. And I'm so excited little Ava is going to be born. She might even be born at this moment because it's, well, it's right at that time. So we'll see after this read how it's going. But uh, how exciting, isn't it? That alone should convince us that there is a God, right? That human beings are formed in the likeness of their master. Oh, it's going to be great. So we're going to read... Colossians chapter 3 today, verses 1 through 25, in the mighty name of Jesus, let's dive into the Word of God. Since then, you've been raised with Christ. Set your hearts on things above, where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God. Set your minds on things above, not on earthly things. For you died, and your life is now hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, who is your life, appears, then you also will appear with him in glory. Put to death, therefore, whatever belongs to your earthly nature, sexual immorality, impurity, lust, evil desires, and greed, which is idolatry. Because of these, the wrath of God is coming. You used to walk in these ways in the life you once lived, but now... You must also rid yourself of all such things as these, anger, rage, malice, slander, and filthy language from your lips. Do not lie to each other, since you've taken off your old self with its practices, and have put on the new self, which is being renewed in knowledge, in the image of its creator. Here there is no Gentile or Jew, circumcised or uncircumcised, barbarian, Scythian, slave or free, but Christ is all and in all. Therefore, as God's chosen people, holy and dearly loved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness and patience. Bear with each other and forgive one another if any of you has a grievance against someone. Forgive as the Lord forgave you. And over all these virtues put on love, which binds them all together in perfect unity. Let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, since as members of one body you were called to peace and be thankful. Let the message of Christ dwell among you richly as you teach and admonish one another with all wisdom through psalms, hymns, and songs from the Spirit, singing to God with gratitude in your hearts. And whatever you do, whether in word or deed, do it all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through Him. Wives, submit yourselves to your husbands, as is fitting in the Lord. Husbands, love your wives and do not be harsh with them. Children, obey your parents in everything, for this pleases the Lord. Fathers, do not embitter your children, or they will become discouraged. Slaves, obey your earthly masters in everything, and do it not only when their eyes is on you and to curry their favor, but with sincerity of heart and reverence for the Lord. Whatever you do, Work at it with all your heart as working for the Lord, not for human masters, since you know that you'll receive an inheritance from the Lord as a reward. It is the Lord Christ you're serving. Anyone who does wrong will be repaid for their wrongs, and there is no favoritism. What a wonderful read this has been. 
There's a lot of wisdom here, my friend, lots of wisdom. Let's kind of take it backwards a little bit during our after-read Bible study. Isn't it wonderful that you and I can actually read the Word of God? And then, of course, if you have no more time, you can run off and, and, and go about your life. But at least you're abiding in the Word of God. But I'll try to do my best to do a short little after-read Bible study after each little read. Not every time, but most of the time. All right, so let's start backwards. Whatever you do, work at it with all your heart as working for the Lord, not for human masters. So verse 23 is saying, whatever we work at, whatever our hands find to do, let's do it as though we do it unto the Lord, forgetting that we're serving people, but we're serving the Lord with our lives. You know, we know it says, you have an inheritance from the Lord as a reward. It is the Lord Christ you are serving. I think if we just kind of underline that little scripture right there in verse 24, it is the Lord Christ you're serving. And then 25 says, if anyone does wrong, they'll be repaid for their wrongs. So we don't have to worry about whether or not it's fair or if someone is prospering because they're doing wrong, but you're doing right. No, no, no. Anyone who does wrong will be repaid for their wrongs and there's no favoritism. Okay, so let's do what we do wholeheartedly as unto the Lord. I think that is important. All right, so we'll jump up to verse 12. Therefore, as God's chosen people, holy and dearly loved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. And it says, bear with one another and forgive one another. If any of you has a grievance against someone, forgive as the Lord forgave you. And over all these virtues, put on love, which binds them all together in perfect unity. Okay, so we walk in love, and then, friend, we forgive as the Lord forgave us. Say this with me today, wherever you may be in the world, okay? I forgive everyone. And if you remember someone you need to forgive, forgive them now in the name of Jesus. Just let it go. You'll be free. Listen, when you carry unforgiveness, that person is not being hurt by it. You are being hurt by it. So let it go. Let them go. Be free. And you, as God's chosen, holy, dearly loved, you clothe yourself with compassion. Just dress yourself right now. As a matter of fact, Father, we come before you today in the name of Jesus and we dress ourselves with compassion with kindness, with humility, with gentleness, and with patience. And Father, we forgive anyone who has done anything against us. We forgive, Father God, as you forgave us and you are continually forgiving us. And Father, we ask that you help us clothe ourselves with love. So we put on love. Because you say this binds them all together in perfect unity. Father, we thank you for your word. We thank you, Father, in Jesus' mighty, powerful name. Amen. Amen. All right, verse 5. Put to death, therefore, whatever belongs to your earthly nature. These are the things we need to put to death as believers. Okay, are you ready? These things in your life ought to die right now. In Jesus' name, sexual immorality, impurity, lust, evil desires, and greed. Because, in verse 6 it says, because of these, the wrath of of God is coming. And verse 7 says, You used to walk in these ways in the life you once lived, but now you must rid yourself of all such things as these. And then the list goes on. Here we go. Anger, rage, malice, slander, and filthy language from our lips. 
And then it says, do not lie to one another since you've taken off your old self with its practices and have put on the new self, which is being renewed in the knowledge, in the image of its creator. Isn't that what we're doing right now? We're renewing our minds, learning what we must do. We must forgive. We must dress ourselves in love. We must, must put to death all the things that belong to our earthly nature. Oh man, we're being renewed. It's wonderful. Now, let's end with this. Since then, you have been raised with Christ. Set your hearts on things above, where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God. Set your minds on things above, not on earthly things. So what do we do? We set our mind on things above and not on earthly things. Say this with me out loud today, wherever you are. And if you're on a bus or train or around people, just whisper it. But just say, I set my mind on things above, not on earthly things. Amen. Friend, have a wonderful day today in the name of Jesus. And thank you at the beginning of this month for praying for Life Audio Bible, supporting Life Audio Bible, being here with me, standing with me, sowing the word with me. I need you so we can get some new equipment so we can move forward, do some more promotions. I need you. So if the Holy Spirit reminds you, go to the Facebook page, Life Audio Bible, follow the links there, do what you can, and let's sow the Word of God together. It is important. It's probably the most important thing we'll ever do whilst on earth that we sow the Word of God. Have a wonderful day. In the name of Jesus, and I'll be back again tomorrow.